Hey friends, today I'm reading another new book that I just received, and it's also nonfiction, which means it's true. It's called Anna and Samaya, The True Story of Saving a Black Rhino. The author and the illustrator are is uh, Paul Meisel. I'd never heard of this book. I've been reading a lot of books, you guys, I've never heard before. I'm really enjoying them. Eek, eek, squeaked the newborn rhinoceros. His mo Her mother had wandered off. Now the baby rhino was all alone in the vast Kenyan rhino sanctuary. So a baby rhino cannot survive on its own. It has to have its mother to raise it. And rhinoceros are um, endangered, so it's really important that they um, are taken care of. Anna Mertz, who ran the sanctuary, knew the baby was in great danger if her mother did not return. Anna waited patiently at a distance. After two days of waiting, the baby rhino's mother was still far away, and the baby was growing weak. So a sanctuary is a place where, um, in this particular one, it's where animals live, and it's dedicated to rhinoceros, and it's a place where they can keep them safe. People like to kill rhinoceroses, and they like to take their horns, and so... Um, they usually hire people like guards to protect them and so keep them from poachers. Poachers are the people who try to kill them illegally. So Anna wrapped the little rhino in a rug and carried her home. She called her Samaya. The Kenyan nights were too cool for Samaya, who shivered out in the stable. So Anna brought her into her own bed with hot water bottles and a blanket. How would you like to sleep with a real baby rhino? Anna fed Samaya from a bottle. The baby rhino slowly got bigger and stronger. At two months old, Samaya could sleep in the stable on her own, but Anna had to sit with her until she fell asleep. One day, thought Anna, you'll be able to live on your own, but not now. By three months old, Samaya had a tiny front horn and 16 teeth. With her new teeth, Samaya could eat leaves and twigs and wildflowers. By her first birthday, Samaya could make more than a dozen different eek sounds, along with grunts and snorts and other rhino noises. Anna tried hard to learn what they meant. When it rained, Samaya made a happy eek sounds as she danced and splashed in the mud. When Anna called her Samaya, huff huff meant I'm coming. A loud snort meant I'm frightened. If Samaya saw something strange, she would snort and hide behind Anna. So she thinks of Anna as her mom. That's kind of neat. It's also neat that she has a lot of different sounds that mean different things, so she has her own little language. Samaya and Anna went for long walks in the sanctuary. One day, when they were at a favorite watering hole, an eland antelope came for a drink. Samaya ran to Anna and breathed hard in her face. Anna knew Samaya was asking if the strange animal was dangerous, so Anna breathed long, steady breaths back at Samaya. Satisfied with the answer, Samaya finished eating grass. Someday, Anna thought, you will be brave enough to explore the sanctuary on your own, but not yet. Isn't that neat? She came to her and asked her a question by the way she breathed. For Samaya to live free, she needed to know how to smell and track other animals. One day for practice, Anna hid, then called for Samaya. When Samaya couldn't find Anna, Samaya opened a gate with her lips. She was getting good at doing that and let out the dogs. With Samaya close behind, the dogs ran and found Anna. That's pretty smart. She let the dogs out so they'd go find her. Another day, while out on a walk, Samaya met two rhinos she didn't know. They snorted. Who are you? Breathing sounds at her. Samaya answered with breathing sounds of her own. Anna was pleased that Samaya was talking to other rhinos. One day you'll be able to live on your own, thought Anna, but not yet. Samaya could be helpful. She was so smart that she thought to offer Anna her tail so she could pull her up steep hills. And Samaya could be silly. Once Anna climbed a tree to see if she could spot other rhinos. Samaya tried to climb up the tree too because she thinks that's her mom, and so she wants to do what she does. Most of all, Samaya just wanted to be with her friend Anna. She visited Anna's garden, and once she learned how to open doors, Samaya visited Anna in the bath. She often tried to open the car door so she could go for rides with Anna, but when she finally did succeed, Samaya couldn't fit inside. That would be a surprise if you're taking a bath, wouldn't it? 
When Samaya was three, she weighed more than 1,500 pounds. Anna still fed her alfalfa, horse chestnuts, and gruel. One day, when Anna was in the kitchen, she turned to find Samaya stuck in the dining room doorway. It took a gallon of cooking oil to help her slide loose. Look at that. She's stuck in the door, and they had to use oil so she'd get slippery and they could get her unstuck. Okay, thought Anna. Now you're ready to live on your own. I hope she is ready because she's really used to being around people. So Anna did what she needed to do. First, she stopped feeding Samaya lunch. Then Anna locked Samaya out of the compound at night. And finally, she didn't feed Samaya at all. No alfalfa, no horse chestnuts, no gruel. Samaya was truly on her own. Hmm, she snorted angrily. Look, she's bringing her her bowl. She doesn't really want to live on her own. She likes it where she lives. It wasn't easy at first, but as time passed, Samaya got used to living on her own in the wild. Sometimes Anna wouldn't see Samaya for a long time. Then, here she is. Eek, eek! Samaya would come visit back for a visit. The two old friends would go for long walks together. But now if they saw a strange animal, Samaya would step in in front of Anna to protect her. Remember when she was young, she would hide behind Anna, and now she gets in front of her to protect her instead. Anna and Samaya, best friends forever. Now here's some information about Anna and about Samaya. And I do have to tell you, it's a little bit sad. So, um, so when Samaya was, um, let me see if it says how old she was. Um, I guess it doesn't say. Anyway, when Samaya was older, she had her own baby, and they were, um, Samaya and the baby were out in the wild in the, in the sanctuary, and they were attacked by a male rhinoceros, and unfortunately, Samaya and the baby were killed, which is super, super sad. But Anna lived on the sanctuary until she was 80, um, 81. And here in the back is some more information about rhinos and some other books. And, oh, here it is. It says that uh, Samaya was 10 years old when that happened, and she had her 10-month-old little um, rhinoceros that was a boy, and they were injured by a male rhinoceros who was defending his territory, and they were killed. So that was really sad. But she still had a very happy life. And here she is. Here's a picture of her, a real picture of her with um, Anna. So if you're interested, you might look up information on rhinos on the Internet and tell me um, if you like the story. Happy reading, friends.